Smart Care. Sustainable health for the future. The healthcare sector is undergoing a digital transformation and patients like Ahmed Balabis are at the front line. The 28-year-old Frenchman has Crohn's disease, a chronic bowel disorder, and uses a new smartphone application to record and share details about his illness with his doctor. The app gathers data on Ahmed's daily life, including how he feels every day. Feeling great, feeling okay, tired, very tired or exhausted. And then it's for us to judge according to the state we're in at the time. Then also the number of times you've been to the toilet, if you have a temperature, your weight, and when you validate it, everything is sent to Professor Perron Birule, who can look at it directly from home. That means that when Ahmed meets up with Professor Laurent perron birelay at Nancy University Hospital, the doctor already has a wealth of digital data about him. That constant online contact really helps from a medical viewpoint if the disease flares up. Rather than him waiting to see me or to call me, to see me one week, two weeks or one month later, because having diarrhea and stomach pain for three weeks isn't nice, the patient can contact us as soon as things go wrong and we'll take action. So we'll act early, give them the treatment they need and avoid the inflammation of the intestine developing and ending up damaging or destroying the patient's intestine. So there are many advantages. To get a second opinion on the advantages and challenges of this digital shift, we went to Paris. There are lots of innovative healthcare applications out there, but how do you fit them into the traditional relationship between the patient on one side and the doctor on the other? I'm here at the headquarters of the French National Medical Council to find out their opinion. Vice President of the Council, Dr. Jacques Luca, is a great proponent of digital innovation in healthcare. Yet with so many smartphone applications now being developed, he argues the case for strict regulation. We think that applications should be prescribed by the doctor. It should be used in an official framework. So you use the application three times a week or three times a day, depending on what you want to measure, and the rest of the time, you leave it in your pocket. If smartphone applications are to be integrated into public healthcare systems, they also need to answer questions about security. And here in Nancy, that's the role of nurse Muriel Velta, who briefs patients on how to share sensitive medical information with their doctor. If he's face to face with the doctor, it will be via a code that the doctor should enter within 15 minutes. And if he shares via email, it's the same. It should be opened within 72 hours. It's only the doctor that can look at the data that the patient has entered and wants to share. For Ahmed, good patient doctor dialogue is all about trust, be it face to face or online. I start from the idea that if you want to be well cared for, then the doctor needs to have access to all the data, no taboos, otherwise there's no interest, no interest at all. The digital shift is here, but patients should always be able to choose to what extent they take part in that transformation. Smart Care, in partnership with AbbVie.